Hello, my name's Ian Higgins. I'm the Chief Executive of USA Cricket. Welcome to Shaping the Future for Women and Girls in American Cricket. We're delighted and proud today to launch the Women and Girls Action Plan for 2021 to 2023. Hi, I'm Nadia Bruni. I am a Board Director of USA Cricket and the Women and Girls Committee Chair. Hi, my name is Julia Price and I'm the head coach of the USA Women's National Team. There really is no better time than now to, to catch the wave of women's cricket development across the world. Every global sport competition needs the presence of a strong USA team and we need a thriving ecosystem of women involved in all aspects of the sport. So we need to put the pillars in place to achieve long-term success. The opportunities are obviously in front of us. We've got the first ever ICC Women's Under-19 World Cup in 2023, a potential inclusion of um, cricket in the 2028 Summer Olympics. This means that we have to plan and invest now to be able to shine on these platforms. This plan was developed by the Women and Girls Committee of USA Cricket with significant contributions from current and former players, cricket officials, volunteers, and staff members. We build the plan based on all of their ideas, inputs, and suggestions, and criticisms um, provided through brainstorming sessions and ideation sessions. Currently, we're building out a full operational plan to implement our key initiatives, and many of the activities would be led by our women's coordinator and further supported by our nationwide network of volunteer women coordinators, as well as members of a women and girls committee. Yeah, USA Cricket's foundational plan is our organizational strategy. It sets out a vision for USA Cricket to be a full member of the ICC by 2030 and for cricket to be a mainstream sport in the USA by 2030. Within that plan, we've made four strategic choices about where we'll focus our time, resources and energy. And one of those choices has been to focus on women and girls, specifically to seek a more equitable gender balance and increase levels of engagement within all aspects of the game. Shaping the future for women and girls in American cricket is our attempt to set out in more detail exactly how we will achieve that vision. Well, the central theme of the plan is growth over the next few years, and the plan identifies nine growth initiatives that have been grouped together under three headings. The first is increasing participation, which means developing strategies to get more women and girls involved in all aspects of the sport. The second is improving performance, which means increasing the performance of our national and, and representative teams and players. And the third is increasing engagement, which means increasing the number of people that engage with women's cricket and creating deeper interest and engagement with it. If we can achieve those nine growth initiatives, then this will help us to create and realize new opportunities to raise revenue. And we've identified three revenue initiatives that we'll focus on over the next three years, sponsorship, fundraising, and merchandise. Firstly, we'll find ways to support the creation of a safe and inclusive and welcoming environment for women and girls all over the USA at the domestic level. That means working with the already existing leagues, clubs and academies to accelerate the inclusion of women's and women and girls onto their programs and within their communities by providing more opportunities and by establishing policies and behaviours that make the domestic environment more welcoming. Secondly, we'll look to create new participation opportunities through an entry-level program that is appealing to young girls, a college cricket program that is appealing to female students, and using modified formats to help introduce women and girls from other sports into the game of cricket. And finally, we'll find ways to proactively support the increased levels of representation of women across all areas of the sport, whether that's in coaching, scoring, umpiring, commentating, or administration, so that there are more women participating in more ways than ever before. We really want to develop a sustainable high performance program so that we have plenty of girls around the country starting their pathway in the, in the high performance program at the zonal level, the underage level. We had a very successful under 19 nationals this year for the first time and that culminated in a lot of the players being selected in that national team. Uh, we also want a mentor program and also creating some mixed gender training sessions around the country just to keep improving the players and challenging them constantly. We also want to create increased competitive international match opportunities, particularly around the Americas and the West Indies, to ensure that the girls are playing in quality cricket all the time, and particularly in different conditions as well. 
It's been a, a really successful season for women's cricket in the country. With the intra-regional starting up with 12 um, teams around the, the country, it was our first time that we'd had a bit of a national competition happening and it was really putting the, the spotlight on, on women's cricket. From there they progressed into the regional rounds, which again was just a step up for them, a lot of quality cricket playing with their peers, but also playing against people that they haven't played before in different conditions around the country as well. Uh, this all culminated in the Sister Mortgage National Championships, which was held in Florida at the ODI Stadium. Our engagement initiatives acknowledged three key aspects. One, we need to change unfavorable attitudes about women's cricket through positive interactions with women in various cricket capacities. We need attractive marketing and branding efforts to raise visibility. And we need to rally the community to be a part of this journey through their participation efforts. Two, we have to raise our content game. That is our reach and our impact. And three, we have to show showcase our talent to help generate fans. All of this is important because every competitive sport is built upon a strong community and we need to capture the hearts and minds of new and existing fans.